Welcome to Automotive Emblem. So this is where you're going to come up with at least two logos for this automotive company. Um, and then what you'll do is you'll copy and paste your favorite logo and make it into an emblem, so a three-dimensional looking uh, image or a 3D mock-up. Um, so we're going to use Pixlr as the as the default, but you can use other things like Photoshop or, or any other um, kind of blender, any kind of 3D um, app that you can extrude and make things 3D. So when you're designing, um, you can use some of the tools that we've talked about before. The lassos work fantastic. You can use the typing tool. The text tool works great as well. Um, but so while you're drawing, you can, you know, if this company, I name it Mountaintop, I can come up with my symbol, you know, by typing, which is maybe the easiest, or you can kind of kind of draw stuff. So I'm gonna do like an M with a T attached to the bottom here. So just as a brief review, that um, so you can you can draw around using this lasso quickly and pretty easily if you have an idea in your head. Um, you can also trace things, trace pieces, and make kind of a Frankenstein thing if you wish as well. When you have the area selected that you want to fill with a color, uh, we're going to hit empty layer. So I need an empty layer. Perfect. Ooh, I got two now. Um, and then I'll grab the paint bucket. And you, you can see I'm using this kind of gray color. This will work well with the bevel. So I can deselect. There we go. So now I've actually got three. So I've gone above and beyond uh, just a tiny little bit so far. But once you've got at least two made, then you'll pick one, and I like this one the best for mountaintop, and you'll copy and paste it. And then that layer can be moved over here, and you can make it nice and big so you can see what's going on. Fit it to the space. You can use this template if you want. Just drag and drop it in first, um, but you don't have to. Then uh, what you do is, while this is selected, this logo is selected, you can go over to Filter, and then in the drop down, you'll see bevel. So if I click on bevel, boom, you can see this. Sometimes you have to move this window as well. And right away, it shows you what it's doing. So it cuts the edge a little bit. So it looks three dimensional. It's got highlights, it's got shadows. And you can adjust lots of things, including the size. The size is the most important. Here you can see it's made really, really sharp. Uh, there's no flat spots on it uh, that are facing us specifically, but you can take it down. So you can have it, you know, any level you want. There's other things you can do that changing the where the light source is or the angle of the light source and other things. So you can take a look at those. Once you've got what you like, then you can hit apply and that's it. It's very, very simple. For those of you that would like to use the text tool to do this, here are some quick steps. So this just adds one or two. If you use the text tool, you can add some text and I'm gonna go M and T just keep it really simple. And then I want to um, change the font if you want to, or you can keep it the same. We've got the right color already. And then make the size as big as you need. So if you want a bigger logo, there we go. Um, and of course, you would make the logo over here and then drag it, but I'm just going to skip that step for this. Um, and then for this, you can't do the, uh, you can't do a bevel on a text layer. So you need to change the layer. And so you have to rasterize it, makes it into little pixels. Now it's an image layer. If you look here, it says image instead of text. And you can click on that and do the exact same thing. So go over to filter, hit bevel, and it does it and it looks nice and perfect. And you can adjust whatever you want, however you want, and hit apply. You can do this multiple times, so if you want to circle around it, you can have other layers that you put uh, a bevel on as well, so you can they can really add up to a, uh, quite a large uh, kind of emblem. So good luck with your project.